and welcome back to our continuing Settlement Survival Let's Play series, Season 2, Episode 4. Oh yes, lasagna's going well, I'm back at it, and we're already in trouble and it's no fun. I mean, this early snow and no crops in the field, I can't believe they were that fast, so... I think we might have a food issue coming. Now, in the previous episode, I had tasked them further out to get stuff, but since it's cold, I've pulled everybody back and they are now only going to harvest stuff that is close by because if you notice, we're down to 72 on our timber and we have no fuel. So that is a horrible thing, and we need to get our fuel back up to where it needs to be. So have 310 people here. We're going to go ahead and put another person in the sawmill to get that going up a little bit faster. And hopefully they will get some things chopped down soon. And over here, of course, that little blue icon is going to annoy me because, yes, we know what's going on and we do finally have clothing which is nice and we just received our next technology point so let's go ahead and go over to agriculture and we're going to get these forest farms fired up now we're going to be receiving immigrants anytime soon and of course i'm going to bring them in and we're going to have our little herbage going so that will make life a little bit easier. And how many people? 11. Yay! So we're going to get them put to work. But aha! Right now, off the bat, we have three people that are sick. So. Be gone with you. Be gone and be gone so now we're only going to have one person that's injured no big deal and I would rather have those few people than that would have if I would have allowed them to stay that would have wiped us out plain and simple so we don't have to worry about that issue because they are no longer around. That's why I placed the, you know, I picked the skill for the sheriff. Now we do still need a lot more lumber. So I'm going to pull my one little trick out of the hat that I've tried to tell everybody about. And we're going to go ahead and set up just a small temporary storage. I am not keeping this, but... We're going to keep people from pathing too far away. So we have that. And since we need other materials, I'm going to go ahead and just slurp up this little area right here so everybody can immediately jump on it. We're going to unpause this field. We'll assign three people to it. And we're, it's, it's not going to last very long. I think we're going to get another snowstorm, but maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get lucky here. But once the farmers pick up what they're supposed to do, hopefully our food situation will go away. And with the leftover people that we have, once they get done with this, I'm going to go ahead and tell them, To, we're gonna okay guys hurry up and get that moved over there and get rid of it so what they're if you notice everybody got to stay clustered over here boom 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 everything got wiped out real fast and now they're distributing it to our main warehouses and this goes away so you're not gonna see me with a bunch of warehouses anymore 
and we go ahead and need stone and I'm going to do the same exact little trick but unfortunately this time there's not going to be very much they're going to have to build over something unless I can squeeze something in I don't want the warehouse too big I just want it large enough where they can plop the stuff in and now have them pick up this stone and the leftover people the four workers that I have they're gonna go ahead and do what they need to do and except I am going to get somebody over here oh we still don't have herbs do we okay we're gonna have to get that event triggered but I want the stone first see and they're just you know when they get tired they have to run back home but if you notice they're just dropping all the stone well they're supposed to be some of them are still carrying their stuff but they're not having to path as far I mean, if I wouldn't have set this warehouse here, the majority of this stuff would not have been picked up because they would still try to path over to the storage area. So when we're sending our people off to go do things, you know, this is something that you may want to consider doing because it's, it's far more efficient. And once these last two things get picked up, and since the weather's nice, technically, the temperature's good, I'm going to go ahead, now that everything's been deposited, they can come back, drop it off. So hopefully, uh, you know, you can take that little trick back to your settlement. And, you know, our hunter really hasn't done anything for us, or did I miss something? Did our hunter do something and... No, they still haven't picked up an animal. So, yeah, guys, we're we're really needing that. I mean, especially with all the animals that we have here. It's like, come on, guys. Well, hopefully, we can get the herb seed here. And if not, it's going to help out our food. And you know what? I am foobarring this big time. I do not have storage over here by these uh, by these fields. Let's go ahead and solve that real fast. And I'm just going to put in a small storage right there. Aha! New crop seed. And we got our herbs. So, voila. Rita, you rock. Get us herbage. As soon as they uh, get this one built. And they only have to clear one tree. And we're going to set this one up uh, strictly for food. Nothing else. And I'm just going to, I know we're not making simple food or fancy food, but if we receive something uh, from a reward, you know, one of those little events, I don't want that stuff placed over here. I want it over in central storage, like, you know, where's all of our lobsters at? Did they eat it all? They probably did. Yeah, we have zero lobster. Or did they, was it baked lobster? I think they were just regular lobster. Yeah, see, all that stuff's gone. So, it is what it is. And we don't have anything stored in there. So, okay. So, our next big issue is going to be our distillery. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the fuel factory going. I'm going to get the glass going. And while that's going on, let's see if there is any agave tequila. Oh, that's textile. 
So they'll be able to make a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started again. And unfortunately, we're out of workers again. So I'm going to have to watch our clothing because they do not have any linen. And so since I don't have the people, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the game to make sure this happens. And that's one thing. if When you're down this low amount of people, before you move people around, uh, pause the game. Like here, I'm going to pause this shop so that person's in limbo, can't be taken away from me. And I just moved her right over here. So now I can get Beata, Beta, whatever, uh, making linen. And then when I have a decent amount of linen and not run out of clothing, I can go ahead, pause the game, move her, life is good. Now... We have two people on flax. We have one person on oats. Now, the one thing I haven't done, which is probably going to be a big problem since we are running so low on food, is I'm not going to be able to use the oats uh, for beer production because, plain and simple, we're not growing enough food. So we're going to be in a little catch 22 right now on how this is going to work out for us. We're going to be like hitting the skids and then bouncing back up in the air, but it is what it is. Now, hopefully since I've moved the warehouse close to the fields, that's going to reduce some traveling time. And that's, that's my bad. I, I totally messed that up. And I should do the same thing over here, which, okay, we're doing okay. We have flax and reed, and I don't think they're harvesting yet. Yeah, they're not. We don't have enough people for this field. Yeah, it's going to be a concern. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'm going to take Esther off and move. Okay, that's weird that it gave me Keith. Oh, somehow I managed to pick up some people. So some people must have graduated, and they did. And we got another technology point. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Should I go for the clean water? and resolve our water issue for good, or I should say for now, or go into logistics and open up our transfer station for warehousing. Or <laughs> start going down this road to help with our food. Now, I don't have animals yet, so composting doesn't really help. Ugh. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to take the transfer station because I think that's going to set us up for a lot of things. And we have glass. We can do all this. So, I'm just going to have to really watch how we control our inventory here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to build another small warehouse over here that I do not want. But we have to adapt to what our needs are. So we're not going to put food or any of that stuff, medicines, or the raw materials. We're only going to allow uh, construction materials and ore. That is it. Because then we're not going to have to worry about other nonsense getting dumped in here. Because if you go over here to the construction materials, uh, stone and all that, the glass, the brick, and all that will go right here. And it should allow clay, if I recall. Or, no, ore is clay. So everything 
that this does will be good on. And right now we have 35 sand, which is not enough for what we need. But we'll let that run for a little while. We'll get our glass up and we'll get the distillery made. And what are they missing? They still don't have their fuel and they are making fuel. They just haven't made any yet. So once that gets going, life will be good. So we're going to kind of skid around here a little bit until uh, we can get airborne. And three of four, three of four. I'm going to throw one more. And we got another crop seed. Am I losing it here? Or did I just not see this? What did we pick up? We picked up agave. <laughs> okay, so the, the game is being nice to us again. So we now have two critical seeds that we needed. Uh, this gets into kind of a weird situation now. Uh, I could put off the beer production and use the... Oh, what am I going to do here? I think we're going to switch over to agave for right now. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to beef up on our pea seed. We'll stop the oat seed. Because I'm going to ban people from eating oats. And then once we can bring that production on, then they won't care. And we'll be able to use the oats for beer. And that's the one thing that uh, a lot of people don't look at as far as when they're doing their strategies is we can't rush anything. And that was a huge fault that I fell into in the previous season is I fell into that trap of just because I got the technology, I started building really fast and things got really willy-nilly and just nutty and we were just it, it just I had in my opinion and I had far better organization than than some of my favorite streamers that I watch but you know and 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 I'm not dissing them whatsoever because you know they're just they're 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 playing the game they're doing them they're they're having a great old time so no I I don't want anybody thinking that uh that I'm any way shape or form uh, saying anything negative to, to them. It's just, I think we need to have a real strategy as we grow because if we don't, things get harder and harder and harder. Now, this is really starting to play with my mind here because in the previous season and my personal maps that I play, I have never seen this many seeds before being available on a merchant ship. I mean, I'm lucky if they eventually throw out a seed like once every 10, 12 ships. But here we're having back-to-back -back ships with seeds on it. Oh my God. And you know we're not going to be able to buy wheat seeds for 3600 if we ordered it. I, I can tell you that right now. How much, how much of a discount? Wheat seeds. Look at that. Oh. See, it's my fault for not going in and, and, and doing any trading. That's, that's a problem with the way I'm growing this is right now we really don't have anything to sell. This is aggravating. But it is what it is. I mean, this is how I set it up. This is how it's going. And, you know, you have to pay the price. It's kind of a grr, but oh well. So, let's get some of these changes made. We know we're going to go... I'm going to keep the two people... 
on here, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the agave tequila going. And what is going on for all of this? I think the flax is going to really grow and fill this up, but we'll see. So we'll have the agave. So this will resolve our spirits issue. This will resolve our linen issue. And food wise, we're going to need to get another field started. And right now my pathing is not the best for our fields because we're growing quickly. And I'm actually growing faster than what I want. But it is what it is. So I am going to put a field in to try to keep things close. Where, oh, where? I'm going to pause. And we're doing what? Eight by. Eight by tens? Yes. Doing eight by tens. So, what doesn't. That would be an eight by ten, which would jack that road up. How does that mess this thing up? Oh, it really doesn't. So, this will... I'm trying to make the best of both worlds here. So, we can put the road in here. We'll keep people close. Right there. That'll work. And then... It will allow for housing. Here. Okay. Now our herbage didn't do that great. Yeah, right there. It's like long pause silence. It's weird. So, this will give, and we do have the people, ooh, it's February, and we'll get some more peas planted. Just might sneak this by. And what are they missing? They're missing, they don't have enough agave, which is... Oh, we're down to 73. Hopefully, let's see if we can get any agave so they can get some out there. Ooh, gigantic alpaca. This is an event I haven't seen. A gigantic alpaca has run into your city. It seems to be in shock and was running around, injuring several people. How do you deal with it? I'm going to try to capture it. I've never had this event. If it gets us alpaca, life is good. Oh, psh, bummer. Okay. Stupid hunter. New technology. Yay! Okay, so we went in and we now have our transfer station. So that's a good thing. 
And next we want to go into, and we need to, we need to deal with, I'm thinking water. Because then we can set up our water supply. Since we have the transfer station, we're going to be able to move water around. So... Ouch. There's so many things I want to do that are critical. But you know what? If we're going to get uh, the distillery going and all of that, I think water is going to be extremely important. Well, I know water is extremely important. A lot of people run out of water. Uh, I've run out of water, even with all the wells that I've made uh, in previous maps. So, yeah, we're going to go that route. I mean, right now we're not doing too bad. So, you know, we're not full barred, but we're not that low. And we're doing okay on tools. We're doing okay on clothing. Fuel is getting up there, but of course, lumber once again is going to hurt us. So, what can we do here? Now, I started realizing, uh, I think disasters start at year 30. It's either year 20 or year 30, so I'm not going to worry about it. If I'm wrong, guys, let me know, but I could have swore that's what's going to go on and we're okay on stone but we need iron so let's hoover up an area with iron i'm gonna go ahead and set my storage yard right here and you want to make sure you don't have anything under it so no so nobody has to run out here and build things and then we're going to go ahead and select gather all and we're just going to hoover up this little patch we have two people available so yeah right now we have that we have the glass we need i do believe up to 20 i think we need what for the transfer station and, you know, I'll worry about that in a few minutes. Right now, we're okay. I just wanted to get... I want to get like 100 glass made. You know what? I'll take the 200. We'll get 200 glass. We'll set up for 200 brick. And then... Uh, I think that should be okay. Yeah, because we can do 200 brick. We could do 200 glass. And then I can also set us up and get like 200 clay. That should do it for us. And then we'll be able to do other things. So here we have more food going. I would prefer to have more people here, but we don't, we just don't have enough people, which I know I'm whining, but so what everybody wishes for at the beginning of the game, people, 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 give us our people. That's all we want. Now, is the crops going to come in time before we run out of food? That's going to be the big question. Did I put enough fields out there for food? And once again, I'm kind of jacking things up by not having enough warehouses for my crop people. And I just want... This is just going to be temporary. I don't want... I don't want it... Urgh. I don't want to fall into the same trap as the previous season. I don't want a jillion warehouses all over the place. Now, I know some of you may be asking, you know, why haven't you done any laid stone yet? And I'm plain and simple. It's just the amount of people. I, I, I want to get... I want to get our food supp supply stabilized. I want clothing stabilized. I just want to build a, a foundation that we need to get things done. And where we don't, we're not getting these freaking warnings. 
And we got more houses to build because that's what the people want. So let's try to do something to make them happy. And that's going to be too far away. So it is what it is. So the, they'll have a place for the tequila to go right there. So I'm trying to keep control on these warehouses. And they're starting to harvest. We might get lucky. I think since I don't have enough people out here, I think we're going to get in trouble. Since I'm running the minimums, I... We have autumn coming. I'm going to go ahead and since we have three people, I know I shouldn't, but I want this stuff harvested. And putting this person here for herbage will help us next year. Okay, I'm back down to zero people, which is not where I wanted to be, but food is too important. They did manage to get all this stuff harvested. But the unfortunate part is, look what's in here. We didn't get enough lumber. So, yeah. We're having our growing pains, but things are moving along. We're getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. And, you know, today being a crazy day, uh, it's New Year, what, January 31st, right? Yeah. Yeah. Today's lasagna day. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time making lasagna today. And I'll, I, I'm not going to guarantee uh, another episode, but... Right now, I'm, I have downtime, so it's just like, eh, I might. So, if I don't make another episode today, I want everybody to have a really awesome but safe New Year's. If you have to get tanked, get tanked at home. Or at least have a responsible driver for you. Because I want everybody to come back and watch videos tomorrow. Don't want to hear any of, my, any of people watching this channel getting hurt. So, yeah, you have an awesome uh, New Year's and have a safe New Year's. I'm out of here. Bye. You thought I left. Ha ha.